Hey, what's up everybody? It's Zach from Van Life Outfitters. What you're looking at is the beautiful GX family of devices from Victron Energy, which has recently grown into a larger family. Um, so we thought we'd take a few minutes and kind of like outline what these boxes do, how they're different from each other, and when you might use one over the other. Uh, the first thing I'll point out is all the GX devices run something called a Venus OS, which is Victron's operating system. And you can think of each of these kind of as tiny computers that are running Venus OS, and they're specifically designed to do monitoring and control for mobile power systems like camper vans, RVs, and boats. So we'll start with the OG, Serbo GX, which is this one here, and then we'll explore the other ones, which are the new GXS, the up and coming replacement for the original Serbo GX, which is temporarily called the Serbo GX MK2, and then the relatively new Ekrono GX, which is a standalone unit over here on the right. So let's dive into the OG Serbo GX. Okay, so this is the old school, the original uh, Serbo GX, uh, still a great device. Um, all of the GX devices, uh, except for the Akrana, which we'll talk about later, uh, can pair up with a touchscreen as the user interface. Uh, this is the Touch 70, which is the seven inch version. There's also a Touch 50, which is a little bit shorter, five inches, uh, but they work the same way. Uh, if you don't want to use the touchscreen, uh, there is a Bluetooth capability in the GX devices, so you can actually just uh, connect up to it using the Victron Connect app on your mobile device. Um, and what a Serbo GX is, is like I said, it's a tiny computer with a lot of inputs so that all of your electrical system components, things like tank monitors, things like temperature sensors and so on, can be connected to the computer. And then you can control it and monitor it with either the touchscreen or the variety of apps. Also pretty cool about the Serbo GX or everything in the GX family is if you have a Wi-Fi connection or an internet connection for the GX device, you can connect it to what's called VRM, which is Victron's Remote Monitoring Portal, which is a free cloud service that captures all of the data, uh, which is super helpful if you're troubleshooting. And it also allows you to uh, remotely control and monitor your system. So that's a really neat feature from Victron that's totally free. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at then the newer member of the family. So this is the Serbo S GX. Uh, this is actually a slightly more affordable version of the Serbo GX. You can see that it looks really similar, uh, but what they've done is they've removed the resistive tank sensor inputs. So if you have like kind of, you know, analog float type resistive tank sensors, uh, you can't connect it to this but you can connect it up digital sensors like a sea level system, which is what we're really fond of, or something like Mopika sensors. Uh, so any kind of digital sensor can still be connected. Um, and then they've omitted the BMS CAN ports altogether. So if you don't need those specific features, you can save some money and go with the Serbo S GX. So it's a very good option. Uh, this is becoming one of the more popular in the family as a result of the lower price and some features that frankly a lot of people don't need. Then we have the Serbo GX MK2 as it's being called. Now notice it does not say MK2 on the box and the reason is that eventually this version of the Serbo GX will replace the old version but until that happens while the supply chain is being sort of managed by Victron, the new version of the Servo GX is called the MK2. But, it, but really, in the future, it's just going to be the new version of the uh, Servo GX. So what's different about this one is uh, a couple of things. One is they've reversed all of these RJ45 jacks uh, to make it considerably easier to unplug them since RJ45s have that locking connector, when they were facing the other way on the OG Serbo GX, um, and it was up against the wall, it was pretty hard to get those out. So that's a nice little uh, convenience 
Um, the other kind of more substantial thing that they did is they replaced the BMS CAN ports with a second VE CAN port. So on the OG Servo GX, you had VE CAN and BMS CAN. On the new version of the Servo GX, temporarily called the MK2, you have VE CAN 1 and VE CAN 2. So where this matters is that you can go into the settings on your Servo GX, and if you go into the services settings, you can tell the Servo GX what language or what protocol or profile is being uh, spoken on the VE CAN network for number one, and also what language profile is being spoken on VE CAN ports two, and they can be different. So a common example of this is let's say you have uh, some VE CAN protocol devices, notably like a Lynx shunt from Victron or the Lynx BMS from Victron. You can leave VE CAN 1 on the default setting, which is VE CAN, and then it's going to talk with your Victron VE CAN devices like your Lynx Smart BMS. And then let's say you have an RVC device uh, which is common in the RV industry. Uh, perhaps it's a lithionics battery, perhaps it's a sea level system that speaks RVC. You can actually go into the settings and differentiate VE CAN 2 to speak RVC. And now you can have devices that use different CAN protocols or profiles connected to the same Servo GX MK2 where this was not possible with the original Servo GX. Since you only had the one VE CAN port, uh, you had to choose which protocol or profile was being spoken across the entire network. This one, you can differentiate it. However, here's the tricky part, uh, and we'll show you this on screen. When you go into the settings and then services, you're gonna see a choice for VE CAN, and you're gonna see a choice for BMS CAN. And this is confusing because there is no BMS CAN specifically on the new Servo GX MK2. So what's labeled VE CAN 2 on the case corresponds to the settings that you configure in the services menu for the BMS CAN port. But if you look at the settings for the, v the BMS CAN port, you'll see that the full list of profiles or languages is available. So there again, a typical use case would be to perhaps set VE CAN 1 to speak VE CAN and to set VE CAN 2 to speak RVC and now you have a differentiated CAN network. So that's really kind of like the main upgrades to the MK2. So moving on, the another new member of the GX family is the Ekrano GX. So this is a all-in-one device. So instead of having a, a sort of Servo GX plus a touchscreen, the Ekrano is the Servo GX computer and all of the inputs and ports plus a seven inch touchscreen. So that's uh, kind of neat. Uh, it has pretty much the same kind of functionality. Uh, it's very comparable to the new MK2 Servo GX because it also, as you can see, maybe has differentiated VE CAN 1 and VE CAN 2 buses. So it has that feature. It has all of the uh, analog sensors, including resistive tank sensors, uh, your Victron uh, VE Direct ports, USB, uh, and so forth. Uh, I didn't mention this earlier, but all of the GX devices have a little uh, slot for an SD card so that if you do want to record your monitoring data over time, you can capture it on that SD card. Or if you are typically connected to uh, VRM because you have you know, Wi-Fi or internet connection on this device, but you have a lapse in your internet connectivity, uh, the data stored on the SD card will actually be pushed up to VRM cloud once your internet connection is restored. Now, this is kind of a cool device, but 
we find that for people who are in, let's say camper vans or RVs, they're generally putting the touchscreen interface far away or far enough away from their main power system that it's not super convenient to have to plug in all of your Victron devices that let's say are under your bed or under, you know, like the wheel well in the rear part of your van. And maybe you want your screen in the front part of the van. Well, things like your solar charge controllers or, you know, your Orions would have to have quite long cables to get to these VE direct ports. Or your MultiPlus might have to have a really long cable to get to the VE bus port. Um, so if it works for you, it's quite a nice kind of integrated option. But uh, it seems like most of our installers are preferring some version of the servos. All right, so that is the, uh, the current uh, GX family uh, from Victron Energy. Uh, we encourage you to check out our detailed blog post about how to configure these and set them up with uh, VRM, which we highly recommend. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at vanlifeoutfitters.com.